Hi, and welcome to Abba's Voice, Solar, everything else. Um, well, it's been four weeks since setting up the, um, the forum. I do all appreciate all you who have subscribed and, and all the good um, comments I've been hearing. So, what's happened? Well, out of four of them, two are left. And I've been seeing all sorts of little issues with these, especially with the USB ports, where where you would put um, my I, one of them I can use for the studio. Okay, so the lights stay on. If I use the other one, they shut off. So it's periodically. Um, when this gets very hot, then the unit will shut itself off and everything cuts. This port here, the 15 volt input port, is very susceptible to. Let me see, let me get this down a little further. Okay, that's good enough. The 15 volt port, you gotta be very sensitive. It's live, it's always live, it is not shut down. If you hit it by accident, you can short circuit it. And, and you get error uh, E4. And once that's in there, you, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. This, you can hit the buttons. I mean, you can try to go inside and disable the, the, the unit, but it's something on the board. that They don't have no, there's no, there's no, um, there's no uh, fuse inside to, to protect it from damage. The fuse would have catched it if there was a fuse inside. So there's no fuse. There's no, well, 20 amp fuse. This is 3.2. And if you put a solar, solar panel that is higher than the wattage that it says there, it's going to overheat this and cause, cause us to have issues. I mean, even if you get Era 4, you can still use it as a radio. The radio will always work, but nothing else will work. The whole thing becomes disabled. But other than that, it's, if, if you're not going to use it like I use it, I use it for testing. I tried everything. So, um, right now, I'm discharging it through these ports right now. And it's much faster. It's like three hours to charge it. Even charge it to charge charge it from um, AC to AC, you, you're looking at, or AC to DC, you're looking at three hours and a half. It depends what you got. You don't, if you got, I wouldn't use no surge cord or, or, or extension cord. Just use straight socket to it. It'll charge up faster. Yeah, that's it. Don't let it go below. You should let it go like the second cell, and then charge it. That'll last longer, more than five hundred. If you let, if you keep on depleting it, then it's only gonna be five hundred, or it could be two hundred to five hundred cycles. Well, nobody really knows because nobody's really gone that length yet. <laughs> so we'll find out. That's about. But you know, for for the price. We all paid forty. Oh, why did I turn on? Okay. Well, the price we paid for this, you know, you can't cry. Yeah. So, I'm building one from the spare parts from the other two, that will be ready either by today or tomorrow. I'll show that off because everything for it came, so I can I can start building that one. And then I made the, the solar generator for the house that's in this room, which I'm gonna get another panel. They said the panel. It's out of the warehouse, so there's no more 60 watts. I guess you guys ordered those. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's another 60 watts there. Oh, see, it just went out. Look at that. Oops. It won't stay on. That's the one that's going to give me problems. It keeps cutting out. That's this one. This one, there's no problems. Well, that's why you, you buy a couple of them. If you get them dirt cheap, then hey, you don't cry. I decided I missed out on the deal for a dollar for them. Well, that would have been neat. <laughs> I would have bought a lot. But, and then whatever failed, let's build another one out of it. Because the battery in there is a good battery. Uh, you gotta be careful with it, but you know. And I just use the board in there for the balancer. I got another temperature sensor for it. Um, what you see in the. Uh, the uh, one I call HSG. So I'll, I'm calling the next one to this will be uh, 
me medium portable i mean me, sorry me, no, i'm gonna problem with this mini portable solo con um generator well solar gen see it, it cut off again yeah so there's something wrong with this this one stays on that's the way it's supposed to be so we got an intermittent issue with this yeah so if I leave the light on, shoot, does the light work? Let's see what happens with the light on. If we see if it turn off, let's see. Let me give it a while. This one, no issues. This does what it's supposed to do. You can charge with this. Uh, charging, what I have, it'll last about hour, two hours before it, I think. I don't know. I have to really measure it, but I, that's what. But this one so far is the best one. The first one I used for testing that one, and the second one there we. The first one I used for testing, bite the dust, and the second one, after that something was wrong with it. Oh yeah, I got error four. <laughs> I plugged something, um, into the twelve volt output. I guess it didn't like it. <laughs> so that's it. I just want to see if this cuts out. Because right now this is working. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Some time. But other than that, if you're just using it for hooking up your devices, charging your devices, um, listening to radio, have a kick on a fan, then it's okay. I know a lot of others, I guess, like their... I, I don't mention brand names. They like their other um, solo controllers. Yeah, well, it's good. I like to make stuff. I like to I like to build. Uh, I like to try new things. And this I like I can make a more solar generators. But this was an experience with Go Power Plus. Hopefully the one that's working <laughs> not giving me problems will last longer. If I see one, you know, I would pick it up if it was really cheap. But I think a lot of them are gone now. And what, what Walmart is selling is the neuro model, which is the same thing. But inside, it says it can handle up to 150 watts. So, I don't know. That's what it says inside. Unless they have a restrictor on there. Or they something happened when they were building it. They changed their mind and just make it 100 either. But inside, it, it says 150. So. Well, that's staying on. You would think by hitting the power and AC to reset this thing. But that's that's not the case. But anyway. It's not it's not a bad unit, you know, for the price. You know, if you all have it, you know, and you're enjoying it, you know, every kid should have one. Since uh, they will have their own adapter that can listen to their music, charge their cell phone or whatever they're doing. Or run their devices. That's it. It's good. It's good for that. Uh, people who need more power, then you know, then you, either you build one yourself, or you know, you buy something expensive. I'm gonna build one. The ultra. I'm gonna do. I thought I was gonna do five. Since this one's five twelve, I'm going to one thousand twenty four. This one I can. I have another battery. I can go up to seven sixty eight. Seven sixty eight. Yeah, seven sixty eight. Because I don't have. I would have to buy another battery to make it, um, yeah, another battery. That's all I have to do. I'll make it a thousand watts. But I have to get some panels to match that power because it'll take a long time. 60 watt panel. I don't have to get two 100 watt panels or, or 120 watt and, uh, another 60 and go that way. Now we have what? I think the max is 260. Yeah, watts, panels, with this controller. Unless I beefed it up to 24 volt, then I go up to 560 watts. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Let's look at that specs. Let's see what the controller can handle. Um. All right. Well, that wraps it up. Well, there's not much to say. Yeah, hey, yeah. 
I mean, you could, like I said in the first video, you can do a lot with this. Just be careful. Just be careful. This mirror, these ports are active all the time. And you can, don't put any metal in there. You can short these things out when you turn it on. I just charge them, put them to one side now. <laughs> when I need them, I'll use them. Like I said, when we have power shortages, they'll come in handy. This right now, this is the only inverter I have. I don't have anything for that yet. I'm still trying to figure out what to get for it. But unfortunately, the one I built. And then the one I'm going to show, there won't be no inverter either. Um, I mean, I, have to get, I would have to get a small one for it. It should run it though. So I'm just running it off the AC adapters for now. Because there's not much space in the case. And um, the only one I can get is... Um, it's an inverter for nineteen ninety nine. There's only one socket like this. I already had the two socket in the one socket. Cause that battery in there can handle it. Okay, so we have two batteries in there. That's ninety thousand um, amp hours. It should be equivalent to. I should double the the wattage. Should have two hundred watts or more. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Well, that wraps this video. This is a for um, update. Oh, like I said, be careful with these. Um, if they do overheat, you could throw it in a Ziploc bag, put a little uh, paper towel in there, and put it in the freezer to bring it down quicker. Don't freeze it. <laughs> you just want to chill it down a little cooler and put it in the Ziploc bag since this is not water.